And a pleasant good morning. Welcome to Coach's Corner here on Works 96.7 WORX. I'm Jordan Bear, once again back in the big chair, sitting in for Tim Torrance as he has other duties that he has to take care of today. But I am pleased this morning to once again be joined by another sports team from Madison Consolidated High School. We are discussing Madison Girls Tennis this morning. I am pleasure to be joined by first-year tennis coach Nathan Scroggins. Nathan, good morning, sir. Good morning, Jay Bear. How are you? I'm good, sir. How are you? I'm just peachy. All right, so... So this is your first year coaching, so talk about your background in tennis and what led you to be coaching Madison Girls Tennis this year. So I started playing tennis when I was a freshman in high school uh, at Shaw. I played there for two years, uh, mainly singles. Um, then I went and transferred to Southwestern mm -hmm. and played uh, one singles there for two years um, and then got picked up and started playing at Trine. Uh, played four years there, uh, mostly doubles. Um, three doubles, played some six singles, but uh, specialized in doubles. And uh, getting into coaching, um, you know, I knew, I always knew I wanted to coach. Um, I felt I kind of had a, uh, kind of a, a knack for uh, like the tennis IQ part. You know, I always, I couldn't always translate it in my game, but I, I could understand what was going on. Um, so when the opportunity came up, I figured I'd uh, drive down and try it out. Now, you know, you're from Trine, which is up in northern Indiana, and you now live in Indianapolis, so how difficult is it coming down and coaching Madison? Uh, it, <laughs> it stinks sometimes. <laughs> so I have a very flexible work schedule, um, so I just make it work. I mean, I'd rather uh, me come down and coach and, and try to help out the community and um, be a part of uh, one of the teams here, then coach a team up there. So, you know, you got a team that has some pretty great history in the last couple of years. They made the sectional final a couple of years ago. They had a, a group of one doubles go to the regional championships a couple of years ago as well. And you take over for a really good coach last year. So, you know, what was it like stepping in? And honestly, and what is a really young team? Is it difficult on that aspect? Absolutely. I mean, we it's it's trying to find everyone's spot. Where does everyone come in, and, and where they're going to contribute? Uh, we've moved the lineup around uh, here and there, just trying to find our sweet spot for doubles. Um, that's where we're struggling the most. Um, and I think we have a really solid singles lineup. Um, and that took us a couple matches to kind of figure out who was going to play at three. I mean, we've got two girls that could play one singles anywhere. Um, and so finding our, our three single spot was uh, took a couple matches. You know, you talk about adjusting the lineup. When I get the results at the station, I see so many different lineups from all different teams. How difficult is it to just find that one lineup, or does it vary depending on which team you play? Um, I try not to vary it too much, like, when we based on the team we play. I mean, I was doing that right at the beginning and I, trying to be a little strategic, but then I, I realized that uh, – Moving the girls around so much, like it, it makes it hard on them. Like they can't focus in on, you know, this is my spot. This is where I contribute. So I'm trying to keep it more consistent across. I mean, I, like I said, I know who my singles girls are. Now it's trying to find who works the best at doubles. Um, and like you said, we're young, so it's not a lot of doubles experience. We have a lot of girls stepping up from JV um, from last year. So I'm just trying to take my doubles knowledge and and give that strategy across. Well, and you have two captains sitting here with you this morning that we'll talk to here in a, a little later on. How important is it to have them for this very young team? Oh, I mean, it's great. It's, uh, I mean, especially Reagan's just one of the one of the people that will always, you know, speak up, and then she's a, a great leader for the team. Um, and some of the other girls uh, that aren't here today, I mean, it's, it's nice to have um, some people who really get what's going on and, and play into at least my vision for, for what our team's going to be moving forward. You're, you're in the Hoosier Hills Conference, which is not an easy conference no matter it's what tough, yeah. no, no matter what sport it is. It seems like the Hoosier Hills Conference is good at everything. But talk about you know what your girls have done this year against Hoosier Hills Conference opponents. Um, we had a big win versus Columbus East. Um, we, we came out and we were – super level headed I knew that the only the the big way for us to win was to sweep singles um, you know just watching them warm up seeing how they would played previously um, I knew that we we really matched up well singles and so uh, we had a really good warm-up and and I was confident going in and, and we just we deliver I mean they came out of there all, all three singles players were moving their feet they were they were working the other girl um, they I'd go to the fence and they were confident and that's that's the the type of type of singles play we are um, you know, capable of. It's got to make you feel better that 
when you go to the fence in between each point, you really don't have to say anything to them on how they fix the game. Just the confidence is there, and you know, okay, they got this. So sometimes I'm just bored. I just want to go talk to <laughs> them. Like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> How's it going? I mean, I, I feel like I never go talk to Reagan. I mean, she's always, like, in, in her game, and, uh, you know, it's not much you can say to a player that, like, knows what's going on. You know, it's just, do you need anything from me? What, what can I do? Um, is there something you're not seeing? Um, and then you have girls who, who really want you to come over and say, you know, give some sage advice on <laughs> what's going on. But really, it's, I mean, it's, it's an individual sport as a team. I mean, you've got to have your head ready to go. Um, don't rely so much on, on outside things. And a part of it is an individual sport, but it's also partly a team sport. And you look at some of the teams you've played. Uh, let's look at the two local teams here, Shaw and Southwestern, two teams that aren't in the Hoosier Hills Conference, but are two teams who are very quality teams this year, who you could see in the sectional. Talk about your matchups that you've had with them this year. Uh, we'll start with Shaw. I mean, that was, that was my big uh, – that was the match I wanted to win the most. I knew that that, that would tell us where we are at as a team. Um, I know they switched their lineup coming in, and, and it was definitely different than what I thought it was going to be. Um, kind of threw us off. Um, I think Courtney um, didn't play as big as she usually does. Uh, mm -hmm. I know Megan Hesse's really good. I mean, she, and she plays big. She gets to the net, um, and Courtney just kind of started to, to fall apart a little bit. Didn't, didn't play to her game. Um, that's the big thing I always try to tell her is, you know, play your game, your pace. I was like, you're a phenomenal player. Um, you've got you've to play your game. Um, and I think uh, having Kate Grody play three singles, that, that shook. I mean, Olivia, that's one of Olivia's friends. And so Olivia came from Shaw. And, you know, when you go to play, I know that from experience. When you go to play the team that you just came from, like, it's, it's a big deal. Um, so, so we kind of fell apart there. But I think in, in sectionals, um, will be a much uh, better prepared team. Sure. And I think uh, we can match up with Shaw. Uh, versus Southwestern has a match we definitely should have won. Um, I, again, I think uh, we fell apart at, at one singles. Um, we, we did well everywhere else across the board, I think. Uh, you know, they, they have good doubles teams, too. Um, but again, we should have swept singles there and won it. And, you know, you look, those are two sectional opponents. It's got to be nice to know, knowing that you have seen them and now you know what to expect come sectional. Absolutely, time. yeah. And the sectional this year, you have Shaw, Southwestern, Jennings County, and Greensburg. You've played all four of those teams so far, correct? Yeah. Um, what, you know, when you look ahead, you know, is the sectional, is that your big goal for this team this year? I think we could win sectional. I think if our, if our singles come in and, and we are on, um, I think we need two doubles to, to step up big and just really, uh, you know, fi start to figure it out here in the second half of the season. Uh, one doubles is, is tough across the board. I mean, e every single one of those teams has a, a phenomenal one doubles team. And I think just being so young, we, we aren't there yet. You know, we're not at, at you know, these girls are calling plays and stuff. And uh, I'm sitting there like, oh, I didn't learn how to do that until I was in college. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's tough. And it's frustrating for the girls. And it's just, you know, I'm trying to figure out how, how do I, you know, build them up from, sure. from losses like that. We talked about, you know, the season you've had, some of the teams you, you, you know, you've played so far and looking ahead. But I know just talking with you off air, you have some great girls on the team this year, apparently, it sounds like. <laughs> yeah, I, apparently, yes. Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're absolutely great. Um, you know, specifically, uh, Courtney, I mean, coming in at one singles, uh, she's a freshman. Um, I think, you know, years down the road, she's going to be top player in the area, if not, you know, <laughs> even more than that. I mean, she's, she's phenomenal. Like, mm -hmm. it, it, at a much higher level than – uh, you know, I think as a freshman you should be playing, but she's great. Um, and then I, I have a lot of uh, big hopes for Olivia Kelly. I mean, she's just a sophomore, but she's uh, super athletic. I think she's the most versatile player on our team. We can play her at doubles. We can play her at singles. Um, and she gets it. I mean, she's the type of girl you go to at the fence, and, and she listens. She's, she's extremely coachable, and she's only going to go up. She's only going to improve. Um, and then you look, you look at that, and you have some. What are you know? What players do you have playing doubles for you that you kind of, you know, make switch back and forth this year? Because I know you said that's the one that is always kind of yeah. you're trying to fix. So we got two seniors playing doubles, which is really unfortunate. You know, so your your uh, Gracie Massey and then Carly play uh, at two doubles for us, and they're you know you're teaching them so much, but I mean that's not gonna yeah. really pan out too much for you next year. Um, so just trying to get them in, to contribute now. Um, and then Hannah Huff and uh, Emma, 
I mean, Emma's injured right now, but Emma's got a great serve. Um, she's starting to come into her game. Uh, Hannah, same way, great serve. Um, just really trying to figure out the doubles game, and hopefully, you know, I can get them to play doubles again next year and stick together. Being a former coach, one thing I know when it comes to, no matter what sport it is, team chemistry, just getting along with one another, having fun with one another is one of the most important things. Does this team have that? Oh, yeah. I mean, we have a, a, a group chat, and uh, it can get pretty chatty sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I can like, some girls will wake I mean, we'll get in a conversation, like me, Carly, and Courtney will just be talking about something tennis-related, and uh, next thing you know, everyone wakes up, and they've got 400 messages, and it's a <laughs> meme war or something. I mean, it just goes, and, and it's fun. I mean, that's, that's the reason I wanted to get into coaching is just, uh, you know, really be a, be a part of something bigger and, and, and have fun. You know, I, I don't want to come down here and coach and be, you know, I don't drive an hour and a half to, to not have fun. And, and that's got to be the most important part is having fun because if you're not having fun, then what are you doing? Exactly. Uh, so we do have a couple of your players here with us this morning. Let's have a chat with them. Let's start with a young lady who has had a lot of success this year, and that is Miss Reagan Dean. Reagan, good morning. Good morning. Uh, hold the microphone a little closer. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what position do you play? I play number two singles. Now, you have had a very, very good season. What's your record so far this year? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I thought about um, looking at it this morning, but I forgot. But, yeah, okay. I've only lost one game so far. Y you know, that's got to be special, having so much success your senior year, right? It's great. Yeah, I couldn't ask for a better season. I'm uh, kind of on a streak right now, so I'm trying to keep it up. But I know we're coming to some tough competitors later on, so mm -hmm. hopefully I can keep it going. You know, you've had different coaches um, over during your four years. This is Nathan's first year, so talk about all the coaches you've had and what it's like that your senior year having a first year coach. So I started playing my sophomore year and I had uh, Mr. Cheatham, Mark Cheatham, and he was a really good coach. I mean, he brought me into uh, and taught me the fundamentals of playing tennis because I mean, I had no idea what I was doing at first. And then he really kind of gave me the groundwork right now. And then I feel like Coach Scroggins has come in and kind of um, tweaked some of the little things with my game and kind of helped me polish up what I needed to work on. And, you know, the fact that it is your senior year, is this something you want to do at the next level or is this just something you're enjoying for the moment? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, both. I'm pretty sure that I want to play in college if I can because I just have a lot of fun with it. And, um, I think it would be a good way to stay in shape in college as well. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, do you know what college you're going to yet? I'm pretty sure I'm going to go to Hanover, but I'm also kind of between Hanover and Ball State, you know, back and forth. And so your and your hope is to play college at that at play college tennis at that level. Yes. Now, what do you want to major in? I'm undecided right now, but hopefully I'll figure that out um, relatively soon. About halfway through the season, have a lot of matches left. Sectionals just around the corner. What's your ultimate goal this year? My ultimate goal is just to have fun, hopefully be successful, and just make the most of my last year with this team and the coach and just um, try to be the best athlete I can. Must have been a special four years for you, I'm sure. It definitely was, yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much, Regan. Thank you. Now, uh, now we're going to talk with another young lady who is joining us this morning. We have a doubles player with us, and that is... Carly Darnold. Carly, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? I'm good. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, when we have a doubles player, obviously a singles player, it's easy because you can talk about, okay, what do you do because it's just you out there. What's the difference between playing doubles and playing singles? Um, playing doubles, you have a bigger area on the court to play, and then you are kind of working with someone else. You have to be able to communicate. Um, we're, we're still working on communicating communication we're not very good at it right now um and then it's kind of like we're relying on another person almost um to play but it's a lot of fun i feel like uh you're definitely not going to get bored and you always have somebody to, like talk to on the court like while you're there so it's it's fun is that a huge help like maybe if because if one of you has a bad shot is it awesome to have just someone right there instead that can just pick you up and uplift you in the middle of a point yeah, yeah, it is. It's it's really good to have that. Now, how long have you played tennis for Madison? Um, I started playing last year. And, you know, again, you had a different coach. You had Mr. Cheatham last year, and you have Coach Scroggins this year. Talk about the changes, the differences, and uh, what they've meant to you. Um, Mr. Cheatham last year, uh, he kind of just taught me the basics and then stuck with the varsity people that were on the team before. So I was on JV, and he worked mostly with them. Um, and then this year, um, Coach Scroggins, 
he's definitely helped me a lot with my technique and like different things that I can work on. Um, and then if I ever need to practice, if he's in town, of course, he's always like down to um, coach me. So I'm getting a lot more um, time in with him than I did last year. Talk about you know the season you've had so far. Um, how much fun has it been for you your senior year? Um, well, we haven't won a lot, but um, I definitely had a lot of fun. Our team is very close this year, more than it was last year. Um, we all kind of hang out. We all talk to each other. We're all friends. So it's really fun. You know, again, I, I mentioned to Coach Scroggins a few minutes ago how important team chemistry is. That, that's got – you agree that's huge for a team? Yeah. And the team chemistry, would you say this year you all are as close as you've ever been? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, we – you know, even if we lose – if we lose a match, we, we're still having fun out there, so. Excellent. Well, uh, what college are you planning on going to? Um, I'm going to Hanover. All right, great school. Do you <laughs> do you know what you want to major in? I'm undecided. Undecided as well. Okay then. Well, uh, Carly, best of luck for you the rest of the season. Okay. Thank you. All right, Coach Scroggins, back to you, sir. Um, you got a great couple of girls sitting down there with you. Yeah, yeah, it's great. And so it's it's you know you couldn't ask for more from a team coming in as a first year coach. I mean, I, I had uh, honestly some low expectations I knew it was going to be a building year um, and it's it's been great I mean you have people who want to come out they want to try they want to learn I mean like Carly said she's she's always like hey coach are you in town uh, can I get in some hits before practice you know can you help me with this and and that's good I mean for me I don't know always what they need but if, the, if they're vocal and tell me um, you know I can help them fix that part of their game uh, chatted with a couple of your players sitting with you got a great team with you and you're gonna be graduating those seniors and you never know who else could maybe not come back but one thing that is huge no matter again it, this is every sport but especially in tennis it seems like it's huge to get a junior high program going and get them ready for the next level correct yeah so I mean right when I first came in that was uh, Joe the AD Joe Bronkell was like hey what's your plans for this? What's your vision for this? Um, and I was, you know, I was very receptive to it. I was like, hey, you know, I, I understand the importance of, of having a junior high team, a feeder system. Uh, we just went to a match at Seymour and they had like 50 junior high girls out practicing right before their match. And it's like, wow, we need that. We need these girls that are out and, and getting in work before they come in and play for us at the high school level. And, you know, again, because they're, they're the future. And I think participation right now, it just seems like is lower than ever. But what do you try to do to get girls involved? Uh, just <laughs> right, right in the first first part of the season was just try to get a call out meeting and get them to talk to each other. You know, I, I don't know the Madison school system like I do Southwestern or, sure. or Shaw, um, so I didn't know any of the girls. So you know, just relying on them to pull their friends in and then just be like, you know, give them confidence that I'm going to try to help them improve and, and understand the game. Um, so we've had you know some some girls step in and, and play even like Gracie. She's a senior. This is her first year. Um, you know, it's been nice to have people that, that want to come out and, and learn. And that's how a program gets started. You know, it doesn't matter what school it is. Everyone's going to go through rebuilding years. And you are, you're clearly having a lot of fun here. So the future, would you say, is bright for it, Madison it's, Tennis? It's pretty bright, yeah. I think we're going to be a, a good team moving forward. All right. So we're going to talk about, you know, looking ahead to the rest of the season. Um, you have a few matches left, and sectional is just around the corner. Um, you know, what do you expect from the rest of the season? Uh, I think we have some tough matchups coming up. Uh, we play South Dearborn on Monday, um, and then moving into the um, the conference tournament. Uh, the conference tournament is definitely going to be tough. Um, unfortunately, uh, when we played Jeffersonville, uh, you know, I think it was a couple weeks ago, uh, Reagan was not there, and one of our other uh, varsity players weren't there, so we couldn't get a gauge on, on you know how is Reagan going to play against their uh, two singles. How is uh, Emma was the other one that missed? How is she going to play at one doubles? So. Um, that was kind of a scratch in my mind. We just kind of went out and tried to have fun with it. Um, but we know we can beat Columbus East. Um, you know, we've had uh, some other tough, tough matchups. So the conference is going to be um, a big eye-opener uh, for us on what we need to tie up right before sectionals. And, and you, you mentioned the conference. That's extremely tough. Like I said, the Hoosier Hills Conference is just tough and everything. And, and we just played Seymour, so I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they're good. They're, they're good. They, they are. They're in the, they've, I, I think I saw a stat. They've been to, I think, seven or eight straight regionals or something like that. It's some unreal number. And, you know, you look at that, though, 
and you hope to just maybe win a match or two in that tournament, get the girls' confidence going. Yeah. But then you look ahead to sectionals. We've discussed it. Shaw, Southwestern, Jennings County, Greensburg, all teams you have played and teams you very easily say you can beat. I, I think I think so. I think, uh, it's it, like I said, it's going to be – uh, singles for us. I mean, that's the way we're going to win it. Um, and uh, getting our two doubles polished up. It, it, like I said, the one doubles that that's out there, especially in our sectionals. I mean, phenomenal. I mean, you're you're going to be if you come out and watch that match, like you're going to have fun watching because it's some good doubles. Um, but you know, like I said, singles. I mean, that's 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 our game plan right now. Is try to try to get our girls that that know what's going on and playing phenomenal singles. Uh, to try to try to win it for us. You talk about you know the team. What is what is the message you're going to tell your team for the rest of the season? Uh, <laughs> I always say be aggressive. I don't know. When I played tennis, I was aggressive. I was an aggressive player, and that was what won me matches. I wanted to be. I wasn't. <laughs> I, I don't want to preach this to them, but sure. I I was always that opponent's not my friend. You know, I'm out there to get a job done. I'm out there to play tennis, and my dad always told me, you know, just just focus in be aggressive and you're there stay in your own head um so i mean that's how i won matches so i, tr I try to say the same thing be aggressive um and, and just keep moving forward i mean get to the net finish points um so just try to try to have fun and be aggressive excellent and it's been fun for you i'm sure your first year absolutely all right well coach very much the best luck to you i appreciate you coming in reagan carly thank you both very much for coming in this morning as well all right, Coach, best of luck to you the rest of the season, all right? Thanks. Appreciate it.